In this video, we're going to do a practice problem where we add and subtract constants to random variables, multiply constants to random variables, as well as subtract and add random variables from each other. So let's dive in to our practice problem. So given, and, given independent random variables x and y with means and standard deviations uh, as shown below, find the mean and standard deviation of each of the variables in A through D. So here we have our means, and here we have our standard deviations for our random variables x and y. So let's go ahead and start with a. So we're asked to find x minus 20. So our expected value of x minus 20 is equal to the expected value of x minus that constant of 20, which is equal to 80 minus 20. So our expected value of x minus 20 is 60. Let's first find, or and then for our standard deviation, for our standard deviation of x minus 20, well, we know when we subtract a constant to a random variable, our standard deviation remains the same. So our standard deviation of x minus 20 is simply equal to our standard deviation of x, which is equal to 12. That's given to us our question so that is fairly straightforward <clears throat> b is a little complicated because we're asked about two-thirds y so we're multiplying two-thirds to our random variable y so our expected value of two-thirds y is equal to two-thirds times our expected value of y which is equal to two-thirds times our expected value of 12 which is equal to 8. Our standard deviation of two-thirds y is equal to the absolute value of two thirds times the standard deviation of y. Now the standard deviation of y is given to us, we're told it's three. So two thirds times three is equal to two. So our standard deviation of two thirds y is equal to two. Now in C, we're asked about 2x plus y. So there's a couple steps that we have to follow, but we have to follow our order of operations. So let's first find the expected value of 2x. So our expected value of 2x, doing the multiplication first, is equal to 2 times the expected value of x. So is equal to 2 times our expected value of x, which is 80. So 2 times 80, which gives us 160. From there, we can take the expected value of 2x plus y is equal to the expected value of 2x plus the expected value of y. So our expected value of 2x we've calculated right here. That's 160 plus the expected value of y which is given to us in the question, which is 12. So our expected value of 2x plus y is equal to 172. Same thing with our standard deviation. We first need to find our standard deviation of 2x. We know that when we multiply a constant to our standard deviation, it's equal to the absolute value of that constant times our standard deviation of x. So 2 times our standard deviation of x, which is given to us as 12. So 2 times 12, which is equal to 24. We can now solve, but first we need to find the variance of 2x plus y. Right. So the variance of 2x plus y is equal to the variance of 2x plus the variance of y. Well, we know 
that the variance of 2x is equal to the standard deviation of 2x squared plus the standard deviation of y squared. Standard deviation of 2x is 24, so 24 squared, plus the standard deviation of y, which is given to us as 3 squared. So 24 to the power of 2 is equal to 576 plus 9, that's 3 squared, gives us 585. So we're not done. We have to solve for the standard deviation. So the standard deviation of 2x plus y is equal to the square root of the variance of 2x plus y, which is equal to the square root of 585, which is equal to 24.1. Eight, six, eight. Okay, units aren't important here because they haven't specified what our units are in, but no less we would want to be cognizant of our units. And finally, question D, we're dealing with 3x minus 5y. So as you might expect, there are a number of steps here. We have to follow our order of operations. So let's first find our expected value of 3x. So that's three times our expected value of x, which is equal to three times 80, which is equal to 240. Our expected value of 5y is equal to five times our expected value of y, which is given to us as 12. So five times 12, which is equal to 60. So therefore, the expected value of 3x minus 5y is equal to the expected value of 3x minus the expected value of 5y, which is equal to 240 minus 60, which is equal to 180. Now, there's a number of steps, again, that we have to follow to calculate our standard deviation. So let's first find the standard deviation of 3x. Well, this is going to be 3 times the standard deviation of x. So 3 times our standard deviation of x, which is given to us as 12. So 3 times 12, which is 36. Our standard deviation of 5y is equal to 5 times our standard deviation of y. Now they've given us our standard deviation of y. They've told us it is 3. So the standard deviation of 5 times 3, standard deviation of 5y is equal to 15. So now let's go ahead and calculate <clears throat> the variance of 3x minus 5y, which is equal to the variance of 3x plus the variance of 5y, which is equal to the standard deviation of 3x squared plus the standard deviation of 5y squared so we get 36 squared plus 15 squared. So 36 squared is 1,296 plus 15 squared, which is 225. We add those together, we get 1,521. So we're still not done. We're asked to find the standard deviation. So the standard deviation of 3x minus 5y is equal to the square root of the variance of 3x minus 5y, which is equal to the square root of 1521. 
and we arrive at a st standard deviation of 39. So in this question, we've covered how to subtract constants from random variables, how to multiply constants from random variables, how to multiply random variables and add random variables together, as well as how to break it down and follow the order of operations. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.